All right, well, we landed in Pleasant Garden, which is just south of Greensboro, North Carolina. And what's the main reason we came to this area, TJ? We came to go out of doors mart. Yes. So to anyone with an Airstream, you're probably familiar with Out of Doors Mart. It is probably the largest Airstream parts supplier, online supplier. They're not the largest, they're usually the cheapest. Yeah, definitely. We, we've we come across them multiple times when looking for things for the trailer. Mm -hmm. So when we saw that we were close to them, we mm -hmm. said, Let's go visit. It's a totally dorky thing to get excited about and go to a certain area for, but... Well, we also wanted to get a few things that we would have had to order from them anyway, so... That's a valid point. <laughs> so it all works out. Exactly, exactly. So they, They're not only a parts distributor, they also are an Airstream dealer, so we'll get to see all the latest and greatest while we're there, hopefully, too. Yeah, so that's where we're headed now, and uh, hopefully we can get out of there fairly inexpensively. <laughs> $220. What did you get for all that money? I don't even know. <laughs> Doesn't feel like enough. <laughs> Welcome to owning an Airstream. <laughs> we are walking the lot here at Out of Doors Mart and bring you inside a 2019 International Serenity, which is the same model as ours. So this is not the same length and floor plan as ours. Ours is a 30 rear queen bed, and this is a 28 rear twin bed. So there are gonna be some differences in the layout, but otherwise, I mean, look at it. You can hardly tell ours is, how old is ours now? Seven years old? Seven years old, yeah. Yeah. They haven't changed much, that's for sure. No, they really haven't. A lot Two of the things. finishes. Countertops are different. Mm -hmm. Really, not much else. <laughs> <laughs> Looking around, some of the appliances are a little different, but. Right, the floor, the uh, floor is different. Floor is different, yeah. Um, but, yeah, I mean, same, same walls. There's the different counter, which I do kind of like better, I think. Different floors. I like our floors. The one thing that we would love to have is the power awnings. I don't know that I would say love to have because I don't know that we'd use it any more than we do now, but it, I like the way it mounts better anyway. It certainly would make putting it up a lot easier, up and down. <laughs> well, was it everything you dreamed of? Not exactly. <laughs> um, yeah. Typical Airstream dealership with a lot more parts. But they had everything we needed in stock, so we didn't have to pay shipping, we didn't have to find a place to um, have it delivered, so it was super convenient. And yeah, now TJ's got a lot of work to do. <laughs> All right, well, today we are headed to Tanger Family Bicentennial Park. It's supposed to be a beautiful um, garden and so we've brought a picnic lunch and we're loading up the dogs and we're gonna go check it out.
All right, well, we are walking through the Tanger Family Bicentennial Garden, which is a seven and a half acre garden right in the middle of Greensboro. I mean, we're surrounded by busy streets. It was developed in part with a private organization. Right, I think it's called Greensboro Beautiful, is a nonprofit that works with the city of Greensboro to have this public space, this, this green space right in the middle of town and they every year plant gardens and trees and it's just a beautiful park with bronze sculptures and it's completely free. So it's a great place for a picnic. It was officially the first day of spring a couple of days ago so I thought I've got to get out. <laughs> and there are some blooms that's still pretty bare, the trees in here, but uh, even even in its winter state, it's a, a very pretty place. Yeah, absolutely. So dog friendly. The dogs get to walk around, and <laughs> evidently they have events here at different times of the year. So it seems like a pretty cool place to hang out. Yeah, it's awesome that the the city and this nonprofit organization um, gets together and and make sure that this green space stays nice. We've crossed the street, and we are now in the bog garden. <laughs> Not sure what that means, but we're gonna check it out. <laughs> it definitely seems more natural, right? Like it's less manicured, yes. it's more just wild. And I think it might be a little bit more of a marshy area. I think I read online that there's some boardwalk areas up here. So it's pretty neat. All of this right in the middle of downtown. Yep, pretty cool. Just finished up at, do you remember what it's called? Tanger Family Bicentennial <laughs> Words. Bicentennial Garden. It is the Tanger, Tanger <laughs> Family Bicentennial Garden. There it is. Yeah, so totally awesome place. You can tell that the people that volunteer their time for this, uh, really have a lot of pride in it. And it's beautiful here. Couldn't have asked for a better way to spend a couple of hours and have a nice picnic lunch. Um, free and dog friendly. You don't get much better than that. Two favorites. <laughs> All right, so we are headed to get barbecue at a place that was recommended by locals called Lexington Barbecue. And so we did a little research on barbecue because each region has its own style of barbecue. And there's actually a style called Lexington Piedmont that is known in this area of North Carolina. Kind of crazy. So it should be interesting to see how it is and if we like it. Um, so Eastern North Carolina is typically known for its vinegar based sauces. And then Kansas City was known for their sweeter, tangier sauces. Yeah. Texas oh. is known for their mop or basting sauce. Right. Um, I'm sure we're missing some. I'm sure we are. Can't remember them all. Um, but yeah, kind of interesting. There's a, always a big debate over where the best barbecue can be found. <laughs> I think, TJ, you prefer more mustard or vinegar sauce, right? I prefer a more, not vinegar, mustard or ketchup -y sauce. And I like the sweeter sauces. I, I probably have an addiction to sugar. <laughs> but anyways, what's y'all's favorite barbecue sauce? <laughs> Just finished up with lunch. 
It was good. The people good. either one we misunderstood the article we read about the barbecue or maybe two the person that wrote the article didn't know what they were talking about. But Lexington barbecue or Piedmont style barbecue is the vinegar based. And it's so funny when you eat when these when it came out, it looked very foreign to me. Like it didn't look like what I'm used to barbecue looking like. It didn't look like your stereotypical barbecue. Definitely not, but it was really good. It was different. I found they had it right next to the coleslaw, and I found that I really enjoyed getting a bite that had a little of each in it. I thought that was really good. Um, so yeah, totally different and unique and really liked it. They were telling us that in North Carolina, there's two types of barbecue. There's mountain barbecue and eastern, and eastern barbecue. Right, and so apparently the mountain barbecue is the stuff that uses the ketchup, and the eastern barbecue is the stuff that uses the vinegar. I don't know. It was good. That's all that matters. <laughs> so now we are headed to Old Salem, which, if I understand correctly, is a it's sort of like a Jamestown where people dress in period. So this was, I guess, Salem was a Moravian settlement. We're going to learn all, all about it. And as we learn more, we'll share it with you. But it's, it's just an area that they've um, preserved in the Winston-Salem area that is like it was in the old days and people dress in period and you can go in and look at the houses and they've got a bakery everybody tells us we've got to go to the bakery so that's where we're headed next Well, we've been walking around o Old Salem for a little while now, and so the Moravians are of German descent and they settled here in this area, and so they've preserved this bit of Salem to look like it did back in the day. So this whole stretch is all of the businesses that you would have found during that time. Right. It's not the farming community, it's the places they would go to sell their wares, I guess. And, right. Uh, so gun gunsmiths and, and bakeries and... Wood shops. Which stall the merchants in this little town here right. on this street. Exactly. So um, for $27, you can go into each of those homes. It's like an exhibit and they've got people in there that know about the time period and can answer questions and educate you. Show you how things were done back in the day and they're dressed in period clothes and uh, we chose not to do that because it seemed expensive, but... Yeah, I mean, I know like you're not really getting the full experience by not going in and doing that. On one hand, I get that. On the other hand, $27 a person is a lot of money. So you're allowed to walk up and down the street You can walk by, you can peek in free. the windows, you can do all that for free, so. Yeah, absolutely. That's so, the route we decided to take. <laughs> you know us. I, it has to really mean something to us or be important or something we're super interested in to spend that kind of money. If it had been like 10 or 15 bucks, yeah, we might have considered that might more. <laughs> so anyways, that was a really cool area. It's a beautiful day. Um, really they're... close to downtown, so if you wanted to catch lunch afterwards, there's brew pubs and restaurants all over the place. So. Yeah, and um, there are shops, things that you can go into for free without the ticket. There are gift shops, there's a tavern, there's a bakery. So you can go into some of the old homes, but um, to actually do the exhibits, you have to pay for the ticket. So. All right, well, we're all packed up and ready to go. TJ's gotten the outside ready, I've gotten the inside ready, and we've gone through and checked out each, other, each other's work over. <laughs> um, so yeah, headed out of the Pleasant Garden Greensboro area today. Yep. We've been staying at the Hagen Stone 
County Park Campground, which is a really beautiful place. Yep, and we've actually decided to do a review on this park, so look for that in a future video. Yeah, so um, hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you have, be sure to give us a thumbs up. And if you want to follow along, make sure you subscribe. Thanks for watching, guys. Thanks, guys. Bye.